Hey guys, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Mornings are tough at our house. They're all yours. And so many of you on Instagram were asking for morning routine ideas to make it easier and how to organize in a small space. So in today's video, I want to blend those two worlds to give you easy tips to maximize vertical space in your home. And all of these ideas will help make your morning easier. First, two quick frame ideas to help your kids have a more efficient routine. When kids know what's expected of them and know how to help, it makes the AM go so much smoother. This free printable visually outlines their morning routine, hang it in an open space to hold them accountable. It's not perfect, but we try. Also, you can use frames to maximize wall space for accessories. One of my favorite tricks is to take an Ikea picture frame, these are just $3.99, some Dollar Tree ribbon, glue it onto the back of your picture frame, add a hanger, and optional is to drill some holes in and add a few hooks, and this makes a beautiful jewelry display organizer. So you have to put a little bit of elbow grease into this, but tedious things are worth it. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is perfect for kids' bows and necklaces or even adult items to maximize vertical space and you don't forget about what you have. And these retail for so much money on Etsy. Next, all those school papers. I cannot tell you how many messages I get about paperwork, especially in small spaces. At our house, we also maximized an underutilized wall space to keep a paper caddy. I got this from Hobby Lobby, 50% off, so it was just 15 bucks. And I have some dollar store cork board. This is for all of Carson's paperwork that comes home from school that we need to take action on, his leveled readers from the library, because these are in studs, it's all really easy to access. So that way this stuff stays off of the counter, but I know exactly where to find it. Next, find your hidden real estate. I am all about unconventional systems. My friend Jess actually has a cabinet in her kitchen where she keeps her kids' shoes, and we recently transitioned all of the kids' hair stuff to that area. She's always doing her kids' hair in the kitchen in the morning, so having it all in one spot avoids it cluttering up the bathroom where she doesn't have a lot of room in the girls' space. This corner wall would have ordinarily been an underutilized space, but it helps the kids get their shoes on and get out the door, get ready faster, and organize all all of their family planning. Dollar Tree kitchen jars are great here, but we can't promise you won't lose those pesky bands. You don't have to have a large area to make a system like this work for you. Finally, wall space you know is there, but you wish you knew how to use. One of the best organizers you can buy is from Walmart and they're just wire bins. You can connect them, adjust the height, and send it all the way up an underutilized wall. This is a great space again to think unconventionally. Keep kids socks downstairs, their sunglasses, hats, and gloves. It makes getting out the door so much easier. If this video inspired you and you want real ideas for real people, definitely leave it a big thumbs up and I will keep bringing those to you guys on a budget. I am grateful for you and so grateful for this community. Subscribe, turn on notifications, all the things, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Oh my, this necklace is so stylish. <laughs> that actually looks really funny. It's a wonder that we ever make it out of the door, honestly. More coffee.